This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing you back a returning guest, and it's been longer than I would like to for him to come back on my show. He was on my show back in January 2018. We're talking no other than Namiska Lithium. They trade on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol NMKEF. They also trade on the TXX Venture, and you can find them under the ticker symbol NMK. I really like their company on many uh, reasons why, but Lithium is... I'll tell you what, it's going to explode. There's a shortage of it. And here to tell us about his company is the CEO, Guy Barusa. Guy, welcome back to the show. Well, it's nice to, to be back. Thank you for calling me. If you would, Guy, bring us up to speed on the financing package. I think you announced it around May 30th. What was so special about that? Well, it's the largest ever single uh, project financing uh, put together uh, in the lithium space by a new Developer, it's a 1.1 million Canadian financing package, comprised of uh, 454 million Canadian in equity, bringing uh, large institutions in the stock. Uh, we were able to secure uh, 94 million dollars with the SoftBank Group of Japan, uh, 80 million dollars with the Quebec government, and uh, we're able to secure 350 million US. Uh, from a bond uh, issued uh, in uh, around the world and uh, $150 million in a streaming agreement with Orion. Wow. So it's the largest, is the largest package ever attached. That allows us to, to put together the uh, and start uh, dancing the construction at both our sites uh, because we have a mine and a concentrator up north in Quebec. And we also are building an electrochemical plant, state-of-the-art, uh, electrochemical plant to make high purity, low cost lithium hydroxide in Shawinigan, Quebec. So uh, we're going to be building, we are currently building, in fact, the largest single uh, lithium hydroxide uh, production facility around the world. So uh, that's, uh, that's quite an achievement. So we have the money to do the project. The project, uh, I, if I recall, we're doing an agreement with LG Chem for the supplies. When is that going to happen? Well, Go ahead. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, LG Chem, uh, we announced the uh, offtake agreement with them for lithium hydroxide for a uh, five-year contract. It is the latest of a series of offtake agreements, a take or pay that we signed uh, over uh, over time. We're, that with LG coming uh, with its offtake brings us to about 94% of our expected production. Uh, already accounted for, so uh, already sold out before we even have completed the construction of the plant. So it, it, it definitively confirms that uh, real end users are definitively out there working to secure long-term supply agreement of good quality lithium hydroxide. So uh, very, very glad to reach that level of uh, qualification. You know, as anybody, they, they email me and say, hey, Everett, what's going on with this company? Can you ask them, you know, this? Can you ask them that? My question to you is, is that when do you think, because you guys currently are in pre-revenues, when do you think revenues will actually show up and fall on the balance sheet? Absolutely. We, uh, we have a 12-month construction schedule for the mine and the concentrator, and we have a 24-month construction schedule for the electrochemical plant. So in between, we have at least a year of uh, lithium uh, spodumene concentrate that we can, or we're going to be selling to uh, a Chinese converter. That brings us with the first revenue uh, at the end of 2019. That's the first uh, expected shipment of spodumene concentrate. We announced a uh, two years, two years and a half of uh, sales of spodumene concentrate. Uh, until we have reached full capacity of the electrochemical plant. So uh, first revenues, Q4 of 2019. The full blast uh, revenue coming from the converted production will start Q4 2020. And so on the construction of the update, 
can you bring us up to speed on that? Because it sounds like you got a lot of money in the coffers to bring that to fruition. Absolutely. Uh, the mine and concentrator, we already had started and already had invested close to $80 million Canadian in uh, electric line, uh, administrative office, uh, site preparation, access roads, etc. So uh, that's why it's only taking a year to complete. We already had uh, close to 60% of the engineering, uh, advanced engineering done on the mine and concentrator site. So uh, when we closed on May 30, the, uh, the financing package, <clears throat> we were able to start uh, confirming uh, long lead items uh, and purchase. So uh, we currently, on the mine site, have about 140 employees uh, that are working on continuing or, or resuming the work that uh, was already started. That's, uh, that's on the mine site. On the uh, electrochemical plant, uh, we are less advanced. The buildings are already up because it's a brown brownfield project. Uh, the civil work has started uh, a week ago, so we're currently working on site preparation for the pilings to receive the heavy equipment. Most of the long lead items have been ordered or confirmed, so uh, we're on track on the schedule of receiving the equipment uh, as per the, the schedule of construction of 12 and 24 months. My guest today is Guy Barusa. He is the CEO of Nemesca Lithium. They trade on the TX Venture up there in Canada under the ticker symbol NMX. They also trade on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol NMKEF. Let me ask you this. If somebody's listening to this program and listening to our, our interview, why should they go out there and buy your stock? Oh, because there is currently a, a um, slowdown or a dip in all of the lithium stocks around the world, uh, given some rumors that there might be an oversupply. So all of the lithium stocks have tanked by 25, 30, 40%. We are, uh, we did like others, we tanked. So I think it's a good buying opportunity at this point. And one of the reasons is that we are one of the very, very few projects that is currently completely financed to go through construction and commissioning. And that uh, as signed contracts or sales contracts. And uh, that's maybe all of the, the risk of financing is behind us. We don't need to go back to the market uh, soon. So uh, the stock price has no bearing on our capacity to be able to deliver and execute the construction and commissioning. So that's maybe what differentiates ourselves from other some stocks. In closing here, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to touch upon that you would love to uh, illustrate to my listeners? Well, maybe one thing is that people around uh, are talking about the falling prices in China of lithium carbonate. Uh, but the world, uh, the rest of the world, lithium prices for carbonate has remained quite stable. But what people have to understand on NMX is that our main production is going to be lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide is the new lithium compound of choice for uh, high nickel uh, cathode material batteries. So we're one of the very few that is uh, involved in high purity good quality lithium hydroxide. Like I said, we're gonna be the largest single source of production of hydroxide. And that's where the world is going, hydroxide. So don't be uh, fooled by the falling price or expected falling price of lithium carbonate. We're in the lithium hydroxide market. Well, you said a lot today, you said it all. I'm super excited to have you back on my show. Only thing I ask of you, Guy, is don't wait six or seven months to come back on. Hopefully you'll come back on in 40 or 50 days and give us an update of what's going on up there in Quebec. I'll gladly do it so. Thank you. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.